trashers. So, I didn't record in there. Apologies if you care at all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I didn't record in there because one of the guys in there I get kind of weary of. And when he's doing a certain thing, I just don't record in there. So, there you go. But, uh, <coughs> hey now, I've got a little bit of scrap dust in my lungs. But that said, it's the biggest one we've, the biggest amount of money we've gotten in a while from there. Uh, I got 11 bucks off of Shredder Steel. Hey, price come up. Oh, shit. Four cent. Come up one penny. I got, oh, I might have to bring the trailer. Got 11 bucks for that. And then we got $48 for 241 pounds of batteries, which is pretty cool. And 70 pounds of, uh, all those pots and pans got us $14. So that's what's up. So that's $73.40. But yeah, you know, I like that. <laughs> so, hey, that's cool. Uh, probably going to ride back and I guess try to load up some more stuff. See what we can get. Might, have, might as well jump on this while we can. All right, trash rats. <clears throat> so I stopped at the thrift store just now, all the way home from Scrapyard, and uh, picked this mask up. I bought this in like three Minecraft books. I paid two dollars and fifty-five cent. Now that mask sells for like twenty-two bucks on the bay. So should make a few dollars on that. <clears throat> so a little bit of scrap money invested and flipped. That's how we do it, or how we're trying to do it. Uh, cruising the street right now, hoping we found some washers and dryers, like 70 of them or something. <clears throat> but we probably won't, but you never know. Then, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to the house and start working on more scrap. All right, boys. <clears throat> Round two. I got most of all my aluminum pots and pans still. If those two boxes were like five each, then probably get another 20 bones out of these things. A couple radiators, rads, rads. Bags of cans, probably five or six of those. Here's a thing of copper right there, probably can't see it. These two sons of guns, oh my God. <coughs> they both got balances in them. And I would be shocked if we had under 200 pounds of balances because whew, the monkeys were heavy. Uh, things still look like a, a wreck out here. That's stainless, I need to tear these computers apart. Christmas wire, I got a, I got, I got more in these cans here, so, and there's also got more aluminum cans. <laughs> I just got tons of stuff. I'll probably take this load and this will be it for the day. And then, uh, alright, this will be it for the scrap runs today. Then I might, I might come back and start sorting more stuff and prepare it, maybe for tomorrow. So yeah, that's what's up. <sighs> Stay scrappy. <laughs> alright, trash rats. Just, uh, dropped all that stuff off. And, uh, I like them because they pay more and now that I've actually done that with them talked to some of the guys they're like yeah tell us next time you got a bunch of stuff because it was kind of a pain in the ass this time he's like tell us next time and we'll bring you a pallet before we lift in the pallet and what's up you know what I mean you know what I mean? got a uh, 21 bucks off all those uh, ballast that was 214 pounds I knew it. it was over 200 pounds total we got 88 bucks so that is what is up. Making some decent change today. Uh, aluminum cans, got 11 bucks. Old sheet of aluminum, 13, seven. And you got a few bucks. Aluminum radiators. I got two dollars off two radiators. That sucks. I remember you used to get more than that. Maybe I should have cleaned them. Got another two bucks off a battery I had. Not bad. Another 88 bucks to the stash. I'm not complaining. Got uh, 15 bucks off that copper. Random bits of copper we have. So that's pretty cool. 
I'm going to probably go back and load up again, but not go back today. Because I don't want to. But yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, let's check this thrift dumpster in daylight. How about that? There's some exercise equipment around front. I know they'll want me to take it. for a couple of bucks. You can go to like Walmart and stuff and buy for a couple cents. Might be able to turn that into like 10 or 15 bucks. Depending on what's in there. Maybe we'll sell the fabric and stuff with it. Um, so after looking at that bag that we put all that washer stuff in yesterday. Nothing. Nothing's fall. Usually you'll see something real quick in a couple days. Nothing's come out. Nothing's fall apart. Or fallen out. Bugs and rats and bats and whatever so what I decided to do was take it apart as much as I could and start cleaning on it so I did I got the gears and stuff and the motor posted cleaned up and posted so that's good but I went to clean up that stupid board and it is so gross and then when I cracked it open it's it, just so nasty inside of it but meticulously cleaning it just getting there and then I noticed one of the clips one of the little connector clips was about to break off and it broke off as soon as I started cleaning on that section so it looks like there's a hundred bucks that we have lost which I'm gonna take it as a sign because that clip broke that maybe that was I just shouldn't have been trying to sell that which I was cleaning it with uh, some good high powered disinfectant so like I wasn't really worried about it and I was going to clean it and then seal it back up because I was not going to let somebody get that buggy thing sorry woman I could have let you go but I didn't anyway that's what's up let me get this food and then who knows what we might find something on the side of the road I also got to go load up some more stuff try to go scrap tomorrow again alright so let's discuss a little dumpster found we got last night. There was a box and there was fabrics and stuff in it. <clears throat> um, I don't guess we talked about this. But what it ended up being, I'm going to show you later. I'll try to remember. They're vintage patterns. Like, you cut them out, you sew them together, you stuff them, you make pillows and bags and stuff. And it's, it's vintage patterns is what it was. <clears throat> so I ended up making a lot they sell pretty decently from what I was seeing. So I made a lot of all the patterns I had for 40 bucks. And then I had to ask Dumpster Marcus because he's my sewing man and he knows. But uh, there's these squares and they're pillows. And they're like, they, one side's got a deer and one side's got some writing and stuff on it. And I have like five or six, enough for five or six pillows. I had to ask Marcus what he would call those, and he gave me an idea, so I posted those up on eBay for lots of two for like $15. I don't, don't really know. don't really know what will happen, but you don't know until you try, so I just stuck them on there and saw, and just, we just went for it, so we'll give it a few days and see what happens, and uh, yeah, that's what's up. I'm going to ride to my thrift buddy real quick, because I haven't been there in a minute. Got to give him his uh, seven dollars cut from his gay porn deal. 
uh, probably need to pull some more of that stuff out and start posting it because if I can make seven bucks on every ten movies it's not bad <laughs> it's not bad at all <laughs> but yeah that's what's up that's what's up hopefully find some, some things to sell over here I got something I'm supposed to do later I got a bunch of stuff to do today actually so I'm kind of thinking about loading my truck up again with whatever scrap I got wire I want to sit on the wire but I kind of just want to get rid of it all I got some wire and some uh, some more cans and some stainless steel stuff <clears throat> so I might might load that stuff up and we'll see if we just can't get rid of it too but yeah yeah, that's what's up. Alright, trashers. Just left my thrift, buddy. Uh, I didn't show you. I got a handful of scrap. I got a really funny shirt out of his dumpster. I'll show you that in a little bit. Come on, dumbass. Hey, look at this guy right here just sitting here. Like I'm sitting here telling him to go across and dragging his ass. Anyway, sorry, road rage. What's up? Um... Yeah, I spent way too much money just then. Uh, got some scrap from him, cool. But I bought this, 20 bucks, boxed. There's just the box and the cardboard. I don't know if the paperwork's in it, but Nintendo box, my experience. I could separate cardboard and styrofoam and make about a hundo, 150 bucks, somewhere in there. But I paid 20 bucks for that, so that's cool. Bought three polo sweatpants, this is, this is, this is, dollar piece. I think he gave them to me, actually. So free for three polo pair of pants. I'm probably trying to get 15, 20 a piece on those, I guess. Hopefully the market's good. If they're all the same size, I might put 30 for the whole lot. Um, bought a Back to the Future game because I love Back to the Future and whatnot. But I'll show you this later. I took a gamble and spent 60 bucks. I got a book. 40s and it's all World War II Air Force I think it's one guy but it's like it's it's history you know what I mean so like I, I could either break this up or try to sell it whole I don't really know what I want to do yet but I don't know I'm gonna take, I, I took a gamble because I know it'll sell it's good money I don't have personal connections to it so I'm not I'm not gonna keep it if it was like my grandpa, which I've got pictures of my grandpa and his brothers and stuff, and that stuff's sentimental, and I won't let that stuff go, obviously. But this stuff's not, but I also don't want it to die. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to just end up in the trash or something. So I gave him 60 bucks. He wanted 100, but I was not a player at 100. We looked up some stuff, and I just don't feel the market's there at 100 for me to invest. But for 60 bucks, there's a lot of eight by tens in there, and those by themselves, twenty bucks. You know what I mean? So I should be able to sell a couple of them and then be in it even. I don't know. Might try to sell the whole lot for 150, 200 bucks because, like I say, it's it's from the 40s. There's some really hysterical pictures in there. I'll try to show you guys in a little bit, or I'll put them on the gram. But you just you can't recreate that stuff. So I don't know. This it might be a might be a home run. It might be a total miss. I'll get my 60 back out of it. That's no doubt about that. But uh, it's just a matter of finding a collector. Oh well. Alright, don't know how good you're really going to see this. But uh, Air Force Corps Technical School. There's all kind of writing in here. Pretty cool stuff though. Now uh, we talked and apparently these style pictures usually go for about 20 bucks I don't know if they got writing on the back or not and then he said my buddy said he could usually get rid of stuff like this for about a buck each and there's a ton of them in here that plane right there I might be able to sell that for five or six Tell you what, I might be able to take a whole, a whole lot of these plane pictures. Oh yeah, there's some funny as hell ones in here too. Let's see if I can't find you one. Oh yeah, there's. 
there's a ton of plane pictures. <laughs> oh man, on toilet. Just dumping it out. That's funny. All kind of stuff in here. So realistically, I should be able to get. Gave 60 bucks for this. Should be able to get my money back relatively easy. I don't know if you can see that too well. Guy just being a goof. Guy's lighting him a cigarette up. That's funny. Tell you what, girls back in the 40s were baby dolls. <clears throat> I don't. What are we doing there? I uh, thought that was some uh, provocativeness. Pretty cool stuff. somebody tied to this stuff. That's an old picture right there. I guess they're all old stupid. <laughs> it's really hard to decide what to do here. Like, do you break the lot up and chase the dollars or like, what do you do, you know what I mean? The whole story on that one. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> I'm sitting here thinking about posting it for auction and letting it go and then putting like a, a reserve. Hey, like that beanie. Got that at my thrift buddy too for a bucko. But uh, putting a reserve on it of like a hundred bucks. That way I get my initial investment, and if it sells for a hundred or more, then it is what it is. But at the same time, those pictures, if I could get 20 for this one and 20 for that one, and then make a lot of all the airplane pictures and get, you know, 20 or 30 bucks for that lot, and, and then maybe do one of all the military uniformed wearing individuals and do that for 20 to 30 bucks that probably come out with about the same price so I guess realistically it'd probably make more sense to try to bounce it in this right here hmm. I'll let you know what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna try to post it here in just a second all right just called my main man Jody what's up Jody my uncle my man my number one love you buddy uh, to talk to him about this Air Force book and he said exact. I knew exactly what you were going to tell me but I had that like I don't but he said pretty much what I thought would be the right option sell it as a whole it just makes more sense and that thing right there that's American history man I, I can't honestly in my right mind break that up that is somebody's whole life and it needs to stay together I've got a book similar to that, but it's not military, it's older, of, uh, of our family. And it's pretty cool like that. You just got to keep that kind of stuff together and alive. So, he wants to see it, which I will bring it and show it to you. Uh, I think I'm going to post it on eBay. And I'm going to put a minimum, I'm going to put it up for auction. A minimum, 
my minimum is going to be 100 bucks. I know it's not much. I'll get my 60 back, plus probably another another 20 after fees. So I'll make 20 bucks on it. But but that's saying if it gets to 100, it stops. Now you never know. That guy might go to two or three hundred. I mean, you never know what collectors out there looking. You never know who's going to buy what. You just never know. So, hell, somebody could recognize people in the picture, and you could have a damn bid more go crazy. I could have a private message. I've had that before. Get a private message, and they're like, "Hey, would you sell this for X, Y, and Z?" I might. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and post it here in a minute trying to figure out the best way to get I got 12 pictures I can deal with I'm trying to figure out the best way I can post this and show really what's going on so yeah I'll keep you updated what's up trashers bright and early um and cold 37 degrees awesome uh, so overnight <clears throat> apparently we sold that little face mask if you remember and uh, two dollars and fifty cents on it sold it for twenty four dollars and thirty cents. Didn't even haggle with me, which I would have totally haggled, but apparently that was a good purchase. I'm uh, not sure what shipping, shipping and eBay fees will be, but I assume we'll net eleven, twelve, maybe fifteen dollars profit afterwards. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Um, I don't know if we talked about it, but yesterday I bought some uh, Ralph Lauren polo sweatpants. <clears throat> I say I bought them, but technically I bought that Nintendo box and uh, Back to the Future 3. <laughs> and my buddy gave me the uh, sweatpants. I got three pairs. And uh, last night I was doing a little research. I haven't listed them yet, but... Uh, used pairs of Ralph Lauren sweatpants I'm seeing all kinds of prices uh, starting anywhere from 20 plus shipping going into like 60s plus shipping so I didn't look at the sizes I'm kind of hoping they're all the same size because if they are I'm gonna bunch them together and try maybe a hundo plus shipping of course so that's what we got going on but until we do that we're going to work right now yay me what is this a flag oh some kind of bed cover probably got bed bugs Cables and stuff, always usable. Hmm. 